recently I was asked to um, create um, a brand new package because the user wanted to understand how exactly the name of the pads worked. So let's go ahead and I'm going to create a brand new library file. New library. Um, now that I have a brand new library opened up, I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new package for this example. So I'll click on the package icon. I'll call this demo and click OK. It'll prompt me if I want to create this new package. I'll say yes. You notice by default we get automatically grid. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the option to display my pad names is available. Options. Set. Go over to the miscellaneous tab. And I do have the display paid pad name option available, already enabled. I'll click OK. And I'll use this icon here, the pad icon, to go ahead and place a couple of pads. That way we could see what names they're automatically acquired. Apparently in a previous project I was working um, I was working with some pads that were called ground one and it automatically is using ground one and ground two and ground three. Uh, for this demonstration purpose I want you to show how it could that could be easily changed. So I'll go ahead and delete these pads and if I do the pad command again and I type the name I want to have, let's say for example I want to use DB1 database, I put it in between single quotes that way Eagle can recognize its text It's not a and it's not a pad measurement. If it's in between the quotes it will automatically recognize that it's a, it's a, it's a name. And I'll click OK. So now you'll notice that my pad is called DB1 and if I click a second pad, the next one will be called DB2. And the third one will be called DB3. Let's say now we need a ground pad. We need a pad called ground. Just type in the name between single quotes. Close the single quote. And now the next one is called ground. Now here, since there's no number afterwards, the next one that I place is automatically going to go to the default naming convention of Eagle, which is P$1 in this one. Okay. Now if we want to go ahead and change the name of P$1, we could just go ahead and click here on the name command. And click on the pad and change the name. Okay. And those are a few tricks of how the name pads you.